Oh boy, what's the deal, peeps? Sergeant Tyson here. I'm over here at work. February 4th. It's fucking five degrees outside <laughs> in the Bronx at work. Doing what I gotta do. <sighs> gotta pay the bills. And shit like that. Even though I didn't want to come to work, but I gotta. It pays the bills. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. Uh, shout out to. Uh, Say you know the single mother's channel. Actually, on Facebook, a couple months ago, my face, my last Facebook page was hacked. Couldn't get on it. Those hackers got on my page. I couldn't even respond within three minutes. My whole shit was changed. Number and email was changed. I'm like, how they get past everything without even me responding to it? I was like, I blame Facebook for that. So therefore. Man, if you're dealing with a chick that's that you're in a so-called relationship, it's not a relationship. It's a so situationship. She she has a situation. You're looking for a stable relationship, and she wants to be the one, you know, in and out the house whenever she feels like it. Then she'll come around and stay with you for like a month or two. Then. She's out and about. You don't see her for like three, three to four months, which is pretty much a situation ship or pretty much you're on the rotation list. Once you're on a, once your turn comes up, here she comes around. Da da da! -da all with open arms, gives you the pussy. Then after that, it's all good and dandy, especially when Valentine's Day is coming up. Oh, you know these chicks don't come around on Valentine's Day. The ones out the blow coming around for Valentine's Day. The ones that never gave you no time of day. They gonna have they gonna have like you know the little going through their phone trying to figure out who's gonna give them who what whatever gifts, free dinners, free meals, stuff for their kids. You know, bags, makeup. Lashes, weaves, trip down to the fucking beauty supply store, get them that newest wig that's out on the window that everybody, that every other chick got or everybody else has. Same shit, different story. So, it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, just. Be aware of that. Also, have you ever came across women like this in the past? You dated one, and she was mortal enemies with one of your friends on, you know, during the time of tag, the, the tag app. Tag back then was fun. I was meeting a lot of good people with that shit. Now, forget it. It has gotten worse. So now these two heifers. Oh my bad. I couldn't be saying that. These two chicks. Or oh, well, fat chicks. Well no. These two whales. On Facebook. One of them's like. One of them's a friend. Because of my daughter. And I encourage her son to go into the army and stuff. And everything else. I was pretty much like a father figure to her son. And. She was like very ungrateful and all this other stuff. She, and the thing was, why is black women still angry? Why are they still angry? Can anybody tell me that? I even asked other black women, why are like, yo, why are y'all so angry? What did the next dude or the old dude did to you? That you're giving me all the fuck that you're giving me hell and stuff that that I gotta pay for it and not the other dude. Who fucking put you through the ringer and through the mud? Now, this is a chick I was dating before I got deployed in Iraq. She was nice. She was beautiful. She had a little thick shape. Till now, I was told that oh she got married, but looked like she ain't married now because she's a single mother. And I saw her on the page, I was like, these two chicks are fucking ganging up on me. 
why are they ganging up on me? And I'm like, I have to. I did what I had to do. I got stable, got a job. I went and bought property, bought another property, and stuff. Now I'm trying to look for a tenant to move in. <laughs> I refuse to. I refuse to rent one of my units out to Section Eight unless it's elderly, or a disabled veteran, or a single father with kids. Okay. Single fathers with kids, no single mothers. I refuse to go let Section 8 come on over and say, like, hey, how can you not rent out? I'm like, nope. I put it like this. I know what I'm looking for. Those are the people I want living on my property, not those single mothers with kids. Name after a wine bottle, name after a bag, name after a car, name after a perfume. And stuff, all these hood names with like Dame with 13 letters on it. Try and sign on her name. We can sign out with only just three letters. <sighs> Ridiculous. So these chicks, right, try to bash me on Facebook, talking about I ain't shit, this and that, you know, use a bomb, da la da. <laughs> and then I say, yeah, whatever. I told my daughter about it. My daughter got on both of them, <laughs> roasted them too. I said, that's why you're still fat. You got a kid, but you're not married. And you, you lady, you, you, yes, you, you still live in the same spot for the past 10 to 15 years. Hasn't, haven't even moved yet. You're still moving dudes into the apartment. Your last baby daddy left you because he had other kids to attend to and you got mad off of that and oh well. And all this other shit. You got mad at your son because he went to the army and doing better for himself. And your son, even her own son, even told her the reason why you're still mad at Tyson is that he has his shit together and you don't. You keep messing around with these fucking bums. Now you bragging on Facebook, talking about like, oh, you know, he's a good man. He treat me right, this and that. And you moved them in. You just fucking moved them in. Ain't that something? Oh man, she knows how to pick them. Talking about like, oh, I live a, I live like a bullshit life. Like, chick, my life is good. Now the other one, after she had her baby, she bragging about this and that, and I'm looking on her fucking Facebook page. I was like, damn, girl. T 10, 12 years later, you looking like, what the hell happened to you? You put on weight. You put on weight. I'm at the gym. I'm still in my shape. I'm still in my good shape right now. I'm still in good shape. I'm six three. I'm six foot three, two thirty. Back then, I was skinny. I was six foot three, 154 pounds. But throughout the years, I put on some weight, muscle, work out in the gym three to four times a week. You know what I'm saying? Or whenever time permits in between work and stuff. But these chicks here, nah, fat, talking about like. I'm doing good for myself. I'm single and independent. I'm single and independent. I don't need no man. I don't need no man. I can do better all by myself and all that other bullshit. You don't need no man. Then go on the fucking roof and go patch a hole. You got a leak in the roof. You need a man for that. The water pipe is leaking. You need a man for that. <clears throat> Toilet stopped working. Or it's leaking at the base. You need a man for that. You don't need a man to pick up the toilet off the base, take out the wax ring, and put in a, and put in a new one unless you're gonna do it yourself. <laughs> oh, my stove ain't working. You, you gotta call for a man. Even though it's electric stove or gas, you still gotta call for a man to come and look at it. Cause I have not seen I barely seen any women in the field working on gas and electric stoves in the past, especially when it comes to these other companies. <clears throat> My car ain't working. Need a man. Well, you might find a female that can work on cars. I mean, the stud muffins. You, you, they're out there. Uh, so, my daughter's blasted these chicks on Facebook. And I was like, I told my daughter, I was like, yo, don't even waste your energy on them. They just sorry ass. They just don't care. They just mean. They're angry at me. I don't know why. Because I never did shit to them. 
because I was a nice guy. I was lame. I was uh, educated lame. I was corny. I didn't have no swag. I didn't have none of that stuff. So, therefore, <laughs> car saying it's three degrees outside. Damn it, five degrees today, and it's fucking freezing cold in the Bronx. Waiting on the work to start, but oh well. So, anyways, yo, like, share, subscribe. I looked at my subscribers. I'm only down 1,200 subscribers. I'm trying to make my channel look good, but it's kind of hard nowadays because asking other content creators of what software they use in order to, for them to use their channels and stuff. What software do I need to do to use on my channel? I don't care if it was something old, but I can put it to use. Because I see they got a team behind them doing that contact creative stuff. And normally I see like, you know, guys who've been doing it by themselves, just a camera, microphone, and, uh, and a good and a good running computer. So, if you think you know, if you think what software I can use and stuff, hit me up in the you know what I'm saying put it in the in the comments and stuff. Cause me, I'm a working man. I work eight to twelve hours days. Got to work. Got to maintain for myself. My son's going to the my son's going to the Air Force. Proud of him. Right after high school, my daughters. Both my daughters got good paying jobs in the medical field. Even my youngest daughter, shit, 21 years old. She started off at 80K a year in the nursing field. I was like, damn. You're doing better than me when I was your age. Shit, when I was your age, I was in the military. Shit, you making 80, making 80K starting? Shit, doing better than me. Older daughter, she's doing good for herself too. I'm glad. I'm glad. I pushed my girl straight up. Look, and I ain't even told them this shit too. Don't mind those women on Facebook because they're my so called friends and stuff because I really don't care about them, but you're doing good for yourself. And I always tell them this don't carry until you're married. If you're dating somebody, I want to meet them. Because they know me I'll put the gun on the table And intimidate If a man don't give me a proper handshake I'm saying like you had the job interview Because I'm the one that's interviewing the, Interviewing the man, the boyfriend That's dating my daughters Because I want to know What my daughter's going to get into So Peace